transplantation of human tissue and human organs to other humans. Do I have disposal over my body 100% or not? Yes, I have disposal, but not 100%. Within limits. Our scholars have different opinion, but they have one common opinion that in case I save human life, life there is no Sharia uh, doubt or sh Sharia condition to prevent it. But there are different steps. Number one, who is the donor? Is he or she a living person or a dead? If he or she is a living person, what kind of organ he is offering? An organ what the body can repair, like blood or uh, bone marrow. In this case, he or she can do it freely, no problem. But if there is an organ, what the body cannot repair or refacture it again, remanufacture again, reproduce it again. In this case, our scholars have two opinions. If there is an organ like the kidney, and we have two of them, and even with, with one kidney we can live nicely, we can offer the other for saving life. But the other part of our scholars say no at all if any organ what our body cannot reproduce we cannot give to anyone else it belongs to us the other issue is the dead whether the dead has the right to offer his body or organs to others if he has a last will testimony and in this testimony there is an item what he says that yes my organs can be given for other humans in order to save their lives yes in this case yes this is the opinion of one group of scholars the other group say no not at all after the this the body has been has been buried, and the body has to go through the procedure what Allah ordains it the composition and so. On. The third group of our scholars are saying that yes, some part of the body can be transplanted to life a living person, but take care not to cause big damage in the body so you have to respect the dead body the next questions are theological whether a, a believer can he offer the organs for non-believer an unbeliever the response is yes he can freely why not who is believer or unbeliever depends on the free will of the subject but the life is from Allah. Even the life of an unbeliever is from Allah. In, in case saving life, there is no issue like this, that who is believer or unbeliever. Also, unbeliever can offer his organs to a believer. If he gives his uh, kidney to a believer, he will not become an unbeliever. Also, whether an organ of an animal, what is compatible to a human organ, whether can it be transplanted or not? Yes, it can. Why? The logic is very simple. If I put a mango seed into the soil, this mango seed contains all the information of a mango tree. From these codes, a mango tree will grow. If beside the mango, I will put the seed of an orange seed, it will grow an orange tree and not a mango tree because the memory of the seed is working. Also, if a woman is eating a bread and butter, the materials of the bread and butter will be transformed into the body of the woman because the memory of our cells and body works. And from those materials, 
will become the materials of the woman. If the same bread and matter was given to a man, he will not become a woman. Because from his body will transform it into the, uh, the body of the man. So if, if you are eating a cow meat, <laughs> you will not become a cow. Our body is a memory. All the memory of the past is there and these codes will help to transfer all the materials, all inputs into the materials of your body. But there is a question, whether the thing what enters to your body, is it changing irrevocably the codes and the programs or not? If the input or the transplanted material uh, is causing an irrevocable change in the memory of your body, genetically or any, any side, then it is forbidden. So, also a theological question is that what if some parts of my body is taken out after my death, what will happen in the day of last judgment and how after my <laughs> resurrection rec I stand in, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without my kidney and heart and anything else. Please don't ask me that stupid question. <laughs> how it comes into your mind to ask this question. You know, nobody, no human beings knows the answer. That is the, the science of or knowledge of the alim al ghaib the unknown word, and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the answer, but Allah giving us only one very vivid order, save the life. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.